Hi, my name is Alexandra Williams, and I'd like to welcome all of you to a very special presentation of Dead for Boys the Movie, featuring Tommy Bohan Santa and Michael Korth Mathy. Um, originally it was a play, but it has found new life on your screen because I believe that now more than ever we need art and things that bring us together. Speaking of things that bring us together, um, Dead Bird Boys is trying to raise money for Proud Haven, which is a Pittsburgh-based nonprofit organization that helps LGBTQ plus teens and youth who are experiencing homelessness and housing insecurity. So you can donate to them directly or you can buy Dead Bird Boys merchandise. We have posters, t-shirts, um, even a coffee cup, bags. Um, so either way, this helps us keep our movie free while also donating to a good cause. The links to both our merchandise line and Proud Haven will be below. With all of that, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's dead. I don't know. Leave it alone. No. Come on. Do dead vultures get eaten by other vultures? That's not a vulture. I know. Probably. I mean, right? Wouldn't you think, like, rite of passage or something? That would be the most ceremonious funeral. Do you want to... What? I mean, is that... Is that what you want to do? With... Yeah. I think... Okay. dead. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, but would you ever want a baby? To keep? No, to sell. Yes, to keep. I think I'd be a good uncle. Oh, is that your final answer? I'll take non-committal uncle for $200, Alex. And I didn't say us, I said you. Would you? Like... Oh, so now I have to raise it alone? Where are you, Kokomo? Uh-uh, don't, don't Kokomo me, don't go there. Oh, I'm going there. Warm beaches, no babies. Oh, so now I'm home alone with the baby. Where are you getting this baby in question? I'm asking you, regardless of me, of us, uh, would you ever want a baby? I don't have time. We can make time. With work? We can work around work. Okay, Mr. Freelance. <laughs> that, that's mean. That, that, is, that is really mean. Sorry, you know I didn't mean it. I, I, I'm all I'm saying. I'm just I'm saying. saying like, what? what if we could during the day when I'm at work? Are you gonna get up and take care of it? I wake up when you wake up. Yeah, and then you fall back asleep right when I leave. Hey, I make you breakfast in the morning. No, and I love that. But who does all the laundry? You. And who does all the dishes? Me. Sometimes. It would just be too much. What if we failed at it? We won't. How do you know? Because I didn't marry a loser, Mr. Nine to Five. We can handle a baby. It's a whole human, you know. It's not just a baby. It turns into an adult. Well, would you ever want an adult? I already have one. I have two. I've got you two, you know.
Aren't you going to ask me? Why would I do that? So you can say, yes, I want a million babies that hatch out of their eggshells and fill this nest with their screaming and crying, and I can regurgitate my brunch down their gullets. Ooh, I'm a baby bird, you. You're going to what? Come here. No, you did. Okay. No, come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Open up. Open up. Oh, no. I hate you. <laughs> Oh. I know you want one. I just, how? How would we even get one? That's not what I'm asking. Yeah, okay. Disregard all factors. Like, like you're in a physicist's ideal world. Would you ever want a baby? Of course. We need someone to bury us. I hate you. Tiny footprints in the sand. What? I love the idea of tiny footprints in wet sand and running, all three of us running. God, this isn't about me. Of course it's about you, it's about us. Uh, look, I would only, I love you, and I love you so much, and I need more places to put all of that love because I can, because you can't take it all on your own in tiny footprints in the sand and pacifiers and tricycles in another person who is our love. That's all. So you wouldn't want a baby without me? Jesus, yes, I wouldn't want a baby if it weren't for you. You weighing me down with all this love and loving me and fucking... I need a drink. It's not even noon. It's Sunday. <laughs> Don't drink out of the... You, that's literally your rule. I love you. Swallow it. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take it. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego. Spit it out, spit it out. Don't don't swallow it. Spit it all out. You have to. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't be. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Why are you laughing? It's okay. It happens. This uh, happens? This has happened to you uh, before? Oh. Uh no, but it happened. So it happens, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's okay. It's fine. Please stop saying that. It's not fine. It's an omen. It's a bad omen. Well, aren't omens inherently bad? Or a curse. It could be a curse. Well, has this happened to you before? No, but it happens. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were just about to. Oh, I know. I know. I was really excited about it. You were. Uh, me too. I guess that's why my mouth smashed into your nose. <sighs> well, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Has it stopped bleeding? Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. You really fucked this one up. I didn't mean I'm to. Bleeding. I don't think I've ever heard you make a joke before. Oh, well, it, uh, it happens. Coy bastard. Uh, 
Okay, well, okay. you have to tell me a story. Why? Because I'm bleeding all over my bathroom floor instead of fucking you, and I need something to preoccupy me. To take my mind off the fact that you said that this was a bad omen because I really like you. Oh. Yeah, of course. Okay, um... I saw seven deer in my backyard when I was younger. Ooh, he can count to seven, huh? <laughs> How old are you? Uh, like nine years old or something. Ooh, a genius. <laughs> Just white chested, hooves, eyes locked on me. You know, deer. They're just watching me as I was watching them. And just like that, they were gone. They, they went off to who knows where. I mean, where do deer even live? Like, where do they sleep? Do they dream? Have you ever thought about that? No. <laughs> like, where do deers live? Like, really? <laughs> deer. Deer? Yeah, it's it's deer. You don't add an S. It's like uh, mooses. You don't say mooses. Okay, okay, all right, Mr. English Major. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. <laughs> Actually, it's anyway. No, 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 you don't get to correct my grammar when you're sitting in my bathtub. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to tell a story. Go ahead. So, I went inside to go tell my parents, and I opened my mouth and decided not to. I don't know why, just my seven sacred deer. It's not much of a story, but I've never told anyone until now. Not that it matters, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, but I still decided not to tell my parents and for some reason decided to tell you. Well, um, thank you. No. Yeah, because is it is it the blood or is it No, I'm not, not gonna throw up. You look like you're oh, you cute. look like Oh well, what? What? Cute. Really? Mm -hmm. You wanna hear some more shit about deer? Did you, did you find out where they live? Actually, kind of, yes. Ooh, do tell. So, my family took me to this old army depot turned deer sanctuary. And I know what you're thinking, deer sanctuary. Like, you can see deer fucking anywhere, but these were special deer. Special deer? Mm -hmm. They're pure white. Not albino, they still have brown eyes, but their fur is so white. It's a, it's a recessive trait, like um, blue eyes. Here, look at my eyes. Um, uh, but your eyes aren't blue. They're green, also a recessive trait. Okay, so everything's a recessive trait. Oh, you're all dominant. Oh, I'm all dominant. Oh, shut up. Okay, the deer. <laughs> yeah, 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 the deer. So they don't last very long in the wild because they don't have camouflage and they don't realize that they're white because deer can't see themselves. Oh. So 
normally um, when deer, when there's danger around, deer just run until they feel brush brushing up against them. And with brown deer, they're perfectly camouflaged in the brush, like practically invisible. But with the white deer, they don't, they don't realize how vulnerable they are. So they just kind of end up standing there. A sitting duck. Yeah, something like that. And, and so one day in the 50s, a white deer hopped the fence at this place and they've just been fucking procreating ever since. And since there's no predators inside the fence, they can be vulnerable and it doesn't matter. Yeah. And when it snows, they blend right in. Oh. <laughs> but the but the brown deer uh, uh that they were uh they wish they were they're they're uh jealous then. <laughs> Can I ask you a weird question? Uh, yeah, sure. And you have to answer honestly. I, I promise. Have you ever been hunting? Yeah. Have you? No. Really? That surprises you? I mean... Out of the two of us, I guess, yes. <laughs> it's not something my family really does. I'm guessing yours does? Yeah, they, they close schools down for the first day of hunting season where I'm from. So does that mean you've ever... Yeah? Killed something? Yeah. What did it feel like? Well, um, when you lock eyes with someone across the room and know you're gonna fuck them later, even if they don't know it yet. Were you hunting me all night? <laughs> Would you be mad if I was? Has a deer ever given you a bloody nose? No, but a gun has. The first time I shot a gun, actually. You were shot? Yeah, I was shot in the face and, and lived. Like, like, really? That's why I was surprised. No, 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 no. I was young, way too young to be hunting, but my dad took me anyway. And it was snowing and we were standing there in the snow in our boots and he puts the rifle in my arms and he takes me in his arms and he lines me up for a sh shot. See the, the kick of the gun was stronger than I thought it would be and it just clocked me right in the nose. <laughs> yeah, I cried when I saw the blood in the snow. I thought I had um, ruined it or something. And then my dad says, there's always gonna be bloody snow when you're hunting. It's okay, little man. Did I ruin everything? Come here. I run smooth things across my lips. I rub them lightly, back and forth. The back of your hand, your fingertips, your lips. Or 
horizontal. The soft fur of a dog. Fabric. Bed sheets. Lacquered wood. An old clean coin. Flower petals that fall apart in my fingers and drag across my lips. Fingers to mouth. Always putting your fingers in my mouth. Tasting myself and it turns you on. It turns me on too. I'll never admit that to you in the light. But in the dark, it's all there. It's like you've seen the world. Come here. I know you can hear me. Would you stop playing for a second and just look at me? You only have good posture when you play. What does that have to do with anything? So now you're listening to me? Fine. And just listen. I can't hear the difference between notes. I mean, I can tell they're different. I, I just can't tell if they're going up or down, if it's isolated, I don't know. I'm gonna die one day. I really am, we all will. I thought about what would happen if I accidentally stepped on a baby bird the other day and then I turned around and saw a man kick a pigeon and he looked me dead in the eye. I wanna tell you that I'm going to die. I don't know if I'm going to kill myself, but I'm going to die. I might, I, I will die. I, to tell you the truth, I think I freaked my therapist out. She's so good and she's so wonderful. And I tell her, you know, think about birds and cavemen and Freud and pigeons and caffeine and why we have government. And I can't tell you. And she just listens. And sometimes it looks like she's about to cry. I'm going to ruin everything, everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do. How can we, when we know, when we know we couldn't even know how vulnerable they're going to be but it, it's you and it's Christmas and it's us. And it, to tell you that I'm sorry, to tell you that I want more, that there is more, to tell you that I'm not the person that I know I am today. Come here. Hi. Hey.
come here. I saw something in the newspaper. The newspaper on the counter? Yeah. I started the new crossword without you. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In pen again? Would you be mad if I said yes? We've talked about this. I know. It's just, it's my one thing, and you know how much I hate it. I'm sorry. It's, that's not what I wanted to show you anyway, but can we do this together later? Yeah. So, what is it? A baby. In the newspaper? Yes. You saw a picture of a baby. <laughs> was it cute? No. It was an ugly baby? No, it wasn't a picture of a baby. <laughs> then what? It's an ad thingy for a surrogate. Oh. She has babies for people. She has babies for pay. I know what a, I know what a surrogate is. I just thought you'd be interested. You. Me. Sixteen down is you. E W E. A female sheep, you know, counterpart to a ram. See, that was that was the clue. See what I was talking about? Fifty across is Oreo. Fifty one across is uh, might be Madrigal, I think. She's looking for a couple that needs help. Uh, we don't need help. For this, we do. This is the one thing we can't do. We don't even know this woman. She sounds responsible. How would you know? Well, if you would read the ad thingy. And why is it in the newspaper? Uh, does she not know how to use Craigslist? I mean, I mean, do we really want an Amish woman mothering our child? Is that really what matters? Uh, and uh, why? We don't even know her. Well, why don't we get someone we, we know? None of our friends would do, want to do this for us. Uh, 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 no. Uh, we could ask any of them. Alice, Alice, we could ask Alice. Like Alice would. Or Emma. Emma can barely take care of a houseplant. But she's healthy. She's a vegan. That's not necessarily a good thing. Why? You can't be vegan and pregnant. Okay, so then back to Alice. We can't ask our friends to give up a year of their lives for us. Well, surrogates are expensive. We're doing well. And a child is so expensive. I don't care about the money. And, uh, what about the hoops that we'd have to jump through? And what about the lawyers? So we would have to hire a lawyer. To I have lots of lawyer friends. Okay, then if we're going to go that route, then why don't we just adopt? If we're going to get a lawyer involved anyway. We've talked about this. The heads can adopt. Don't you want something that is made from entirely us? Like, it's just something that we made, like any other couple? Like, we're Juno, and it's an oops baby, but it's not really that, and we did it on purpose. I'm stuck. Emollient yielding plant. How many letters? Four. Are there any letters already? There's no in space three. Surrogates aren't easy to come by. This could be our chance. Isn't that what you want? Is this what you want? Would I be bringing it up if I didn't? I mean, would you? Are you? I want this. Do you? 
look, we have to both want this. It can't just be one of us. And I told you I was scared and that I was worried and that I didn't know, but I know that I want this. I know I want this for us, for you, for me, for what could be, for what can be. I can't even finish a crossword puzzle. How am I supposed to raise a child? It's out. For what? Emollient yielding plant, it's aloe. Do you want to do this together? Today? Do you want to do it together? Okay. I'm too nervous to look. Okay, I'll look. What? Well, not before me, no way. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. Uh, you can teach her to play piano and she can sit next to you on the bench. And and, and we can all go on walks together and you can teach her how to ride a bike. You can teach her how to read and write and she can do the crossword puzzles the best. Yeah, and and, and only 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 when she's older though. Oh, of course, when she's old enough. <laughs> A girl. Our 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 girl. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Let's get back to work. You know, I had a boyfriend who always tasted like tobacco and mint. He would smoke and then brush his teeth before he picked me up. <laughs> tobacco and mint, the flavor of old boyfriends. Oh, I remember I wanted a candle that smelled like it so badly. Just to, just to capture that contradiction. <laughs> That's saliva. Oh, you jealous? No. I just, um... Never had a boyfriend before you, so I don't really have any uh, comparisons. Just you against anything I had imagined, I guess. Well, it wasn't worth the spit. What do I taste like? 
mothballs. Excuse me? You won't get out of the closet. Rude. I was hoping for, like, day-old wine or day-old coffee. And you won't hold my hand. In public, where it counts. I wrote a song about you. No, and thank you. It's lovely. I just... Mm -hmm. And you still won't touch me in public. I know that upsets you. Uh, well, yeah, it upsets me. Of course it does. I mean, what am I? The flavor of the month? Some experiment to see if you like dick? No. Because I... you are gay. You are so fucking gay. And, and, and <laughs> I... <sighs> just saying. I mean, look at your, look at your fucking shoes. They're the gayest thing I've ever seen. Okay, white heads are not gay. Say that again to yourself out loud. Say it. White heads are not gay. You don't fool me for a minute. I'm just not ready for that, okay? For what? For holding hands? Yes. Uh, okay, you won't hold my hand, but we can kiss at a party. That wasn't a bathroom. Oh, okay, so you'd rather do shit in a gross, dark bathroom than put our literal fingertips together out in daylight. I've kissed you in many other places. Oh, okay, where? My ass? Shut up. I'm just saying, only, only when you were so sure that no one else was looking. Is that a crime? Am, I'm sorry, am I just that unlovable? Uh, uh, like, how can you... Wake up next to me every morning and still not love me. I care about you. Oh, I care about you. Fuck you. Fuck that. Fuck that. God. Am I like the bees? You also care about the bees, right? Or, or, or some fucking magazine article that, 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 that you read that, that has an issue you care about but never donate to? I am a real person. I'm not just something fun to do to pass the time. I don't. I don't do that anymore. I'm. I, I'm not just something you just try out, like like JV tennis. Might as well be though with the fucking kids. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just sad. I'm just sad that every person in my life has told me that I'm hard to love. That you can lie next to me night after night and still not love me you know everyone says oh isn't isn't young love great isn't it beautiful isn't it fucking magic and i want to know because because people don't love me I just, I just keep dating guys who just fucking can't. I love you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I love you. So fuck me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. And you know what? And your dear. Fuck your dear. Do not. That was a sacred secret. So? So... I'm not joking, okay? I do love you. Or at least I think I do. I'm not sure. I've never been in love, ever, at all. So I have no clue, no comparisons. I just, I have this feeling that I want to be around you all the time. And I want to touch your body, even though the thought of any naked body makes me want to gag in general. And I want to feed you. I want to make sure you're eating food. Make sure you're eating good food. And I want to eat that food with you. And when something happens to me, you are the first person I want to tell. If that's love, then fuck yeah, I love you. So, yeah, maybe I'm the, I'm the gayest gay to ever fucking gay. And you know what? If you hate these shoes so much, I will go out and buy new ones. Because I care about you, and I care about what you think. 
I care about you and I care about the bees. But you are not in competition with the bees. You are very separate things. Will you hold my hand? Will you let this go? No. You know that. You are worth the spit. You know that? I just... <laughs> I need some time. I want to. I want to hold your hand. I want to run away and keep bees in a cottage in Cape Cod. I do. Oh, God, I want it all. And we're beautiful. And we are amazing. We're fucking magic. But not everyone is going to think that. Are you ashamed? Of being gay? Yeah. No. I'm ashamed of thinking that I should be ashamed. It's a whole fucking layer of cake. But I do love you. I am in love with you. That is the cherry on top of all that shame. Have you ever smoked? No. <laughs> shame, right? Oh, yeah. That is a shame. At least I'll never taste like him, though, right? You taste like Christmas. Like citrus and cinnamon and spice, orange juice and coffee. Like fucking magic. Do all babies look like this? Probably. Damn. Wanted ours to be special. She is special. She was mixed around in a petri dish and turkey basted into a lady. Uh, I don't think that's exactly how it went down. That's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> they say that she's the size of an avocado. Mm, yum. Oh, and that blue gel. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine carrying that thing? No, and no drinking for nine months. Oh, I need a drink. <laughs> huh. No, if you turn it like this, she kind of looks like she's sitting in a chair. Huh. Oh, we need to get that new high chair set up. Oh, yes, 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 and return, return the old one. You think people would read the registry beforehand? You know Emma. <laughs> hmm. You can see her head. You mean a brain anatomy? Oh, God, I hate <laughs> it when that ultrasound lady kept saying that. Oh my gosh, she said it like she said it like a million times. Yeah. Here you can see her brain anatomy. Her brain anatomy. Her <laughs> brain anatomy. <laughs> hey dad. Hello, dad. Can I ask? Yes. You don't have to answer. No, 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 no. It's okay. Do you think maybe? Yes. Really? 
Your nose? You think? I know. And her stomach. Do you think it was weird that I... No. Kissed it? No, no. It was like, it was like kissing the world. <laughs> Do you think she's going to get attached? Chelsea? Yeah. It's her job not to. I mean, and it's not her egg. She has no claim to it legally. It's not traditional. It's um. It's uh. Gestational. I know, but it's inside of her. I know where it is. I mean, I'd get attached. I already am attached. Uh, I mean, okay, but we still have to name her. Can't we wait until she comes out first? Fine. But we should at least have some ideas. Okay. Okay. Um. What about? Uh, okay. What was that book you guys read in book club senior year undergrad? Undergrad. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Jane. What about that? Mm, too simple. Okay. Um, what about, what about, what about, what about Coco? Short for Kokomo. Mm, now that one I like. Really? Hell no. <laughs> Good. It needs to be something that we can yell across a playground. Nothing too complicated. Yes, yes. And it needs to sound good being announced at graduation. And if she's president. Ooh, okay. Um, president, uh, president, president, baby. Can't name our baby, baby. Bye. Are you, are you nervous? at all that she... Oh my God, it's totally fine if she's a lesbian. No, that she's a girl. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's a whole other anatomy we don't even know. Interesting, hang on, let me get that. I mean, Think about it, like bras and 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 periods yeah. and, and puberty. Yeah, but we went through puberty. No, no, like lady puberty. What, what are we supposed to do if she has a question that we don't know the answer to? You know, without my phone and just Google it, like. I mean, I could just ask my mom or we could ask Alice or Emma even. They know stuff and they could be like her aunties. No. And we do know one thing. What her first word will be. Or at least I'm wagering on dad. Daddy. Daddy-o. Yeah, she will have no reason to say mom. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't bring your mommy shit into this. That's the whole point of having two dads. I know, but don't you think about what, what she will think? Like, will she ever wonder why we did this? Did what? Brought her into this world, made her be alive. No, 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 no. She will be so loved. Wondering why did they create life when life is already so small? And, and why am I witness to my consciousness in my own purgatory? Okay, all right. You're being ridiculous. When she's a girl, when she's a woman in a world that is not meant for her, how will we let her leave the house? I mean, we're going to have to start self-defense training classes, like, immediately. And then uh, pepper spray and floodlights. And no, 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 no. She's going to be a baby. We, we can protect a baby. We can handle that. She's going to be a baby for, like, a minute, and then she's going to be an adult for the rest of her life. We're raising her into the adult she's going to be. And she already has two strikes. 
two dads. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The world is going to be so mad that two smart, sexy, accomplished men are having a kid. Yes, that is exactly why. Yes, yes, and she's going to get into all the best preschools because, because her, she has two dads. You know, and if she's anything like you, she's going to be smart, strong-willed, and stubborn. And we don't have anything to worry. I know. I just... Mm, it, when... Will she ever forgive us? Forgive what? There's a lot to forgive. Like what? I mean, even if, if she is my child, she's going to be, she's going to be uh, anxious and, and really stubborn. Oh my God, no, I'm, I don't want to do this, no. Mm -mm. Whoa, so you're just... No, no, because I don't, I don't want to hear it. There's nothing to forgive. What about, um... What? Love? That two people loved each other? That two people loved each other and, and, and wanted to, wanted to, uh... Wanted to what? Put it somewhere outside of themselves? Yeah. Yeah, you're the one that said that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Something like that. This is the moment. I've waited for I can hear my heart singing Soon bells will be ringing
something like that. It, it, it was it was something like that. She, no, she, no, 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 no. Jesse, I'm sorry. That, that that's what she said. No, she's wrong. No, 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 no. You think she's wrong about this? You think you know better than her? Sometimes people are wrong. No, you didn't hear her. You didn't hear her on the phone the way the way well, her voice. Like, oh, you were the one that picked up the phone. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, what? So we're laying, we're laying blame now. Is that it? Is that it? No, I'm just saying that. Wait, what? And if you pick up the phone, our daughter would still be alive right now? Not some pile of blood in a toilet? Yes? God. Our baby. Our child. Your, your, your nose. Your blood. Your fucking faulty sperm. Is that what you're saying? Maybe we shouldn't. What? Maybe we shouldn't have considered her alive until we held her. Maybe we shouldn't have considered a child. I don't know. Well, it's too late for that. We were going to have a baby. She was very much alive to me, very much expected, very much, very much my child. What, what, what should I do now, huh? Should, should I scrape the paint off the nursery walls with my fingernails? <laughs> the ones we so thoughtfully picked out? No, I'm just... You considered her. You expected her. We were excited. We were expecting. We were in love with that baby. I learned how to braid. I was gonna braid her hair. I was gonna teach her how to... It was like kissing the fucking world. Yeah. I know.